My name is Sophie, and I had the distinct pleasure of interviewing this American hero. I wanted to become a fighter pilot when I was a little girl. My dad was a fighter pilot. Heather Penny was a fighter pilot in the United States Air Force for 18 years. Her military rank was lieutenant. She was one of the fighter pilots deployed on September 11, 2001. And what I loved about it was when he would get together with his squadron mates, they would tell these incredible stories of how, what they were doing there. They were almost like adventure stories, but they were always about service. It was always about serving our nation, but they got to do so in such an amazing way. Uh, and I also just loved the jets. I loved the flying. I loved the people that he was serving with. It was just, it, there was just something about it that really appealed to me. And so that's, you know, that's really why I want to be a, become a fighter pilot. But, you know, interestingly, um, girls couldn't be fighter pilots. For a long time, our nation said that girls could not serve in combat because we were women. And so we were denied not only that privilege, but that duty. And it wasn't until I was in college, actually, that Congress changed the law and allowed women to become combat fighter pilots. That exclusion is called the combat exclusion. The combat exclusion actually remained in place for a number of other military specialties like infantry and rangers and special operations and so forth. And so it's only been in the last several years that the entire combat exclusions have been lifted from women, allowing us to actually serve alongside uh, you know, our brothers and sisters in defense of our nation. I was the first and I was the only female fighter pilot in my squadron. And because I was the first, it was kind of tough because it was a, a really macho kind of culture in the fighter squadron. But, you know, I really tried to focus on, on my craft, on being really good at my skills and what was expected of me and fulfilling my responsibilities and raising my hand at, at every opportunity to do any kind of work that needed to be done. That, that willingness to just focus on the job and not on the differences is what earned me credibility and respect uh, among the guys because any group has a set of shared values and a set of shared norms. Those things are all purposeful and they should serve the purpose of that group. And as fighter pilots, our job was to go put bombs on target on time or to defend um, you know, in an air-to-air -air scenario or go offensive in an air-to-air -air scenario, ensure air superiority in, an, in, an, in a region. So by focusing on those elements of our culture, that's really what gained me acceptance into the squadron. You know, the jet didn't care if I was a boy or a girl, just cared whether or not I flew it well. And over time, the same thing happened in the fighter squadron as well. How did you get your nickname, Lucky? <laughs> well, let me tell you this. No one gets to choose their nickname. No one gets to choose their call sign. It's given to you after you earn your combat mission ready status. So even after you go through fighter pilot school and you learn your, your jet, your weapon system, you go to your operational unit, which is those are the, the squadrons that would actually go to combat. Um, but you're still not qualified to go to combat. You still have some top-off training, uh, specialties, um, uh, additional you know, skill sets, uh, maybe new weapons, uh, things that you need to continue to learn before you're certified to be combat mission ready with that unit. And so it's a really big test. So when you pass it afterwards is when you earn a nickname. And usually that nickname is either um, a play on your last name, in my case, like Lucky Penny. So they were just, it was just a play on my last name. Or um, it can be uh, a funny way um, to remind you of something that you did to be goofy so, or a mistake that you made. Uh, but ultimately, you know, the thing is, no one get no one gets to pick their call sign. So no one gets to show up to the party and say, "I want to be called Maverick." Doesn't happen. <laughs> but everyone values their call sign, 
because it was chosen for you by your squadron mates. It's specific to you. There's a story behind it. And it's, it's kind of a, a coming of age almost. You earned your way into the squadron and you earned your call sign. Heather Lucky Penny was a new first lieutenant serving as a training officer in the 121st Fighter Squadron of the District of Columbia Air National Guard, based at Andrews Air Force Base outside of Washington. The first woman to serve in her ANG unit, she flew F-16Cs on training missions in preparation for combat. Carl Von Wadka, Aviation History, a Military Times sister production.